of people you should suspect when it comes to your wife. This five set of people that I'm about to mention is too risky for you to leave your wife around them. Five set of people you should suspect when it comes to your wife because these people will sleep with your wife. They don't have conscience. Haga atamwage. Haga atamwage. He won't conscience. You see this five set of people that I'm about to mention want your wife to stay away from them. If not, haga atamwage. They go sleep with your wife, clean mouth. Number one, gym instructors. You see gym instructors. Oh God, you, you will get your wife fine. Your wife now fine woman. Get happy, I am a gym. As a married man, if they tell you what goes on in the gym, my brother, I swear, you know, go won't go to that gym. Because married men comes to the gym to look for girls to sleep with. Gym instructors are looking for married women to sleep with. Married women hang in your head. You understand me? Married women that their husband cannot treat well on bed. So gym instructors are looking for sugar mommies and your beautiful wives to be sleeping with and to be satisfying them. You understand? So after the gym section, girls goes home with men they meet at the gym. You understand me? If they tell you the secret of what happens in that gym, my brother, you will never allow your wife go to the gym again. Gym will another set of a shower company no nowhere. You see, gym going to the gym is another a shower on its own. If they tell you the a shower that takes place in the gym. You as a married man, if you see your wife going to gym, give them a call to all your call. So as a married man, when your wife starts going to the gym, suspect her. Suspect the gym instructor. You understand? Because most gym instructors are all fine boys that your wife cannot resist. You understand? The owners of the gym employs fine, fine boys as gym instructors so that it will attract more women to be coming to the gym. So the more fine, fine girls like your wife comes to the gym, the more more married men come to the gym. You understand? In a business, you may organize in our own way. And a shower business, you may organize. The company will be cashing out because more people are coming because of the gym instructor with a fine boy. More married women are coming because the gym instructor with a fine boy. And more married men are coming to the gym because of the fine, fine married women that comes to the gym. So, any single girl that goes to the gym, they are now looking at Imagine your wife, you see, in the gym. Number two, lecturers. If your wife is still a student, chances of lecturers sleeping with her is 100 over 100. If your wife is a student, because there are some causes that her money cannot pass her. Is that total? You that has a fine wife, you that your wife said, get shape. That thing that you saw that made you marry your wife is still the same thing those lecturers are going to see to sleep with your wife. They are going to fail her 1,000 times to make sure they have that your wife in their bed. So if you're a married woman, you must have noticed that your lecturer likes you. Yes. Some of all like reggae. So if your wife is still a student, eh? Hey, suspect how, suspect how lecturers are sleeping with your wife low-key. Because he get with not okay? They are with a person. Unless you forget as a married man that you are, schools now are not employing young young boys as lecturers, not longer old old men. You understand me? So aga atamunye gi. Suspect your wife for oh. <clears throat> I know what I'm saying. Suspect your wife. All these lecturers, Anna the hammer, they like people's wife. Number three, pastors. Suspect pastors at all costs. Because the rate in which pastors sleep with married women right now, it's so alarming. The rate in which that the DOs sleep with people's wife right now. Hmm, my brother, it's so alarming. So when your wife respects pastor more than she respects you, suspect that your wife and that pastor. When your wife always puts the pastor first before you, suspect that your wife and that pastor, that pastor will be sleeping with your wife low-key and you will never know about it. You know, women can take secrets to the grave. When your pastor starts calling you for a meeting over how you treat your wife, because your wife must have gone to tell your pastor things that happens in the house, suspect that your wife with that pastor. When your wife will carry your bed matter and go and tell your pastor, oh, that's it, my husband does not do me well. Eh? Married woman. You go to discuss your, your, your bed matter, your husband's bed matter with pastor. A pastor who is married or a single pastor. Oh, my brother. Pastor, 
Pastors don't have conscience. They are going to sleep with your wife and Jesus Christ will never do them anything. So when your wife starts respecting pastors, start cooking food to go and give pastor, start going to ministry every day, every day your wife is in the church, suspect that your wife and that pastor, pastor is sleeping with your wife, Tami Tokam, they cannot deny it. Because the characters are obvious. Most of your children, now pastor, get them all. Because you yourself, you are not good in bed. And your pastor, your daddy Gio is good in bed. So now pastor, they knock your wife according to what the Bible is saying. Because pastor is going to sweet talk your wife into sleeping with him. So be careful when your wife starts doing too much in the church. Be careful when your wife starts doing too much for the pastor. Start telling you, oh, let's donate this to the church. Your wife and that pastor, they knock. You know, get it to now one tell me. Oh. Number four, unknown relatives. You see that particular guy where your wife, they tell you, say, now my mama, brother, sister, picking. Now I lie, yo. And you as a man, you have checked very well. Your wife don't have that extended relative that she is talking about. Now that person, they sleep with your wife. You see that my mama, brother, and sister, friend, they were born that guy. Now your wife, boyfriend suspects anything that looks like this thing now that i'm mentioning to you you see anything where we say now my extended cousin now my extended relative now my mama born papa we born auntie we come born the guy eh that person is sleeping with your wife that guy is sleeping with your wife whenever you are not around the guy will come and visit your your children will tell you oh daddy one brother came to visit us and your wife will come and tell you that is my mama, brother, sister, auntie, relative. Or my mama, brother, auntie, brother, where born the guy. And that person, they sleep with your wife. Now my papa, one name, pamo, na, na, motra, na, mo, mono, the guy. Now that person, they sleep with your wife. Now that person. Most of them are even your wife's ex. Most of them are your wife's ex-boyfriend. So, they don't want to let go of their ex-boyfriend. What they do is to tell you that their ex is not their relative. And they're going to know, mama, motra, maha, their papa, brother, brother, sister. Na him born that guy. Na la yo suspect the two of them that particular relative is that particular unknown relative is sleeping with your wife you see that particular relative you will be married man you literally knows all your wife's brothers and sisters even down to her cousins so how she can't get this extended extended relative that you don't know about that does not even have a trace and when you want to go into conversation to ask her how you and this guy take relate she will look for something to kind aside it to kwa no married women ego to kwa no married women ego these guys are sleeping with your wives. You see this extended relative that you people cannot, she herself, she cannot even explain how the person take relate them. You will know all your wife's brothers. To why your wife say ego. Number five, if you know you a married man and you know for sure you are not good on bed, never you leave your wife for all these handy guys. You see all these plumber boys, the ones where they come repair AC for your house, the ones where they do carpentry work, where they come fix your furniture. The ones where they fix your amako, if you are not around, they should not come. If your sister or your brother or your wife's uh, sister or brother is not at home, they should not fix anything. They should leave it till you come back. You see all these plumbers? Especially all these plumb brain boys. Because they are too fine. Some of all these plumbers, if you see them, you're not going to say they're plumber. They go sleep with your wife. They go sweet talk your wife. Your wife will be saying, brain, you have to go We be say you are not even good to her. She have been managing you on bed. You have been a fine boy. They can plumb babu nukutamu. Hey, suspect all these handy guys oh at every cost. Suspect them oh. You see all these plumbers. Tokwa hebu. If you are not around, they should not come and fix so. Oh. Any day you are not around, they should not near your house. They should not come and fix. Ha. Plumber ga na All these young young boys that are doing plumber. Haga ata munyegi. AC boys ga ata munyegi. Haga anaya. Better still go and look for all those old men. Or whenever you are around, they should come and fix.